Shalom. First and foremost, I need to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Makakurash. Call Khalali Ma Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Makakurash. That's in the Haitian Hebrew, Lashon Karash, the pure tongue, to say all praises to Yahweh in the name of El Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh is the correct name for the name of the Father, who the world in the call Jehovah God are. Who the world in the call Jehovah God are Yahweh, and his son's true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. With the world in the only call Jesus Christ, the sure Shia. The true name for the most in the Hebrew is Yahweh, and his son's true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors unto our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to our brothers and more, pushing his word in sincerity and in show to them that believe Shalom. Um, this is going to be a lesson. Um, I'm not sure that's the way I name it, yet, but um, just seeing the news, there is a minute movement to actually look up this article. As, um, I believe it's the Ministry of Health. Um, the name again, Tufton, um, Christopher Tufton, out here in Jamaica. Um, he make a statement, is in which we don't get it real quick. Um, but it's from this article here located on um, JI, um, JS, which is Jamaica Information Service Ministry. Um, and the entitled Ministry Launches Campaign to End Mental Health Stigma. And this was dated what um, October 11, 2019, which is um, 2019 referring to the dub the year. Is the of Karagma, Karagma referring to the market beast, which is the, which is the implantable RFID chip. So, large of what I'm going to do, I'm going to post this article in the description box. Is the I'm not going to read the entire article, I just want to get that main point that was highlighted. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to scroll down to it real quick. Alright, let's start. I'm gonna start here, this paragraph. So today, World Mental Health Day, October 10th, I am challenging the Jamaican people, which Jamaican people actually Israelites, some of the tribe of Benjamin, you so called Negroes, Native Americans, Smash Latinas, are the true biblical Israelites according to the scripture. So today, the world, health, um, today, world, health, um, sorry, today, World Mental Health Day, October 10th, I am challenging Jamaican people, let us rid our minds of that perception, face the reality around mental illness, and deal with it in a way that advances a more progressive and productive arrangement to solving the challenges around the mental illness, Dr. Tufton said. He reminded that mental illness is no discriminator of person, noting that it affects those who are in the boardroom at the highest level of professional attainment, and it also affects those who are on the shop floor, cleaning the bathroom or picking up the garbage. So, none of us must feel that we are better than being affected by mental illness, is advice. Citing a local survey, Dr. Tufton informed that four out of every ten Jamaicans at some point in their lives will suffer from some form of mental illness, whether anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, or other issues. So one out of ten wouldn't be forty percent, and it's a high level, yo. Which I'm very simple, ninety-nine. Right. <laughs> But um, that's a high level for basically say yo people in our own country only like a piece of rock forty percent the um the populous um goes over from some mental illness at some point in their life yo right, which all a part of the curse which lots of them are going to get um in addition one in every five young people right suffer from mental illness in Jamaica that one in five one in every five would be twenty percent is it me they say in um in Jamaica. The highest overall um, prevalence of depression is in the 15 to 24 years, 25 to 34 years, and over 75 um, age group. Um, also, according to the statistic, Jamaica today between 45 and 55 persons commit suicide each year based on mental illness. Globally, 1 million persons take their own life each year. But um, here, especially when you state, um, um, said depression is in the range of 15 to 24 years 
when you look upon it that are people like who are come to college is me when in them um for instance high school i work with cac um cxc um or c second um what they call it keep and going into um um college as well because me, me witness them yo is me stress <laughs> stress to the max yo and them say um pressure bus five so people lose a lot of people lose it yo and them get depressed feeding from pills and so for you some basically you know see how them can pay them tuition fee right and all them can't get them degree and them stress out by it yo is my high level depression and then and then get knocked which is all which is all curses yo sure you say oh this is this there's no hope in the society is me if you have um one in four in every ten people suffer from mental illness is me are um 20 percent of young people is me are suffer from depression yo show you it's high level of madness is you people um you israelites are supposed to be seeking to leave this this messed up place yo all right, but I'm going to start bringing from the curse, yo. For sure, so these are all um, scriptures. Okay, the scripture said this. I'm going to start get, um, get the scripture real quick as it came to mind. Um, in the book of Micah, chapter 2, and verse 10. And it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. <laughs> in our rest, yo. Is me you will basically suffer um, affliction, you you will come to serve slavery, is me basically um suffer the curses, right? Punishment for um for um or transgression against the most high. Right? It's because it is polluted, it shall destroy even with a sore destruction. And it's not mentally, yo, people bugged out the mind. Right? They're not arrest, yo, no hope. But we have true hope, yo. <laughs> no remember them a reason from where they say um people Right, the reason I'm stressed out to a certain degree, not saying that we don't get afflicted as well because if we're Israel, we get the curses. But I'm um, whole hope which when things go haywire in society, we don't give a shit. We rejoice, right? For instance, um, let's say you lose a job, you know, isn't it? Um, yeah, it affect me. Remember, um, remember, for instance, I went through this experience as well, which I um, lose a job, you know, isn't it? And um, to what? To what? To what? Remember, me and the person. Is him we um lose the job and him basically gone smoke and missing him a bug out of mind, which I I literally was rejoicing. Seeing I'm a look on it as what affliction and was say, Yo, at the end of the day, the kingdom of heaven is nigh, we're gonna get out of the shit. Is him but he didn't have that hope, yo. Alright, so let's go to the curses. This is Deuteronomy 28. Which if I go through these curses, you can clearly see say it dwell in but follow people, you so-called niggers. Um, it's Spanish Native Americans, yo. Alright, so this is um, Deuteronomy 28 and verse and start 27. So the Lord will smite thee with the watch of Egypt and with the Elmer, emeralds and with the scab and with the itch whereof thou cannot be healed. This is basically most of the smite with diseases, sicknesses. Um, in point verse 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness, <laughs> right, and blindness and astonishment of heart, right, and thou shalt grope at noonday. As the blind grope it in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed. <laughs> and all this society of four people, there is oppression. But we skip this old people trusting in oppression, them trusting the ways of Egypt, yo. Is him this this um slave slavery system, right? Or people want um, basically them them send them kids to school. Is him in a full system for training up to become what a future slave. Then them go college, get them degree, and then them work until them are 65, 75, yo. Whole. Is him in get whole in Egypt, yo. No hope them to have. But we are sure you true hope, the kingdom of heaven. Which I'm known for the word um, Christianity say, yo. Christianity uh, mindset of um, heaven, where Bible refer to is a completely different thing. Right, heaven that the scripture refer to is um basically the full rulership of the Israelites um that's gonna govern this earth here in righteousness. Right, we'll be Superman <laughs> times ten or a million is him on this earth here in righteousness. Um it's a Marie that back and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoil evermore, and no uh, no man shall save thee. So um no man now will deliver from, from this um captivity yo. Is it me? Only how about Shemi or Shai will do it? That's what you say, no man shall buy thee, meaning no man are redeemed with. Um, this is verse 65. It's among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. And people, yo, the common man can tell you that. Yo, I mean, my workplace, I'm here to complain every day, so we can tell you. He said, But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling of heart and feeling of eyes and sorrow of mind. How people perplex you. 
You see me? Right, we may me hear it day and night you from them. Always complain. Even me complain, you call me on easy. I miss me suffer from the curses. But the the whole mindset that I have is the gift of the most high is having fear and hope in the promise which is soon to come. As we see in the the the, the, the signs that we say we are literally hand. As the scripture say, um come um all ye that is heavenly laden, and your house shall basically will give you rest, your house shall do the world in and call Jesus Christ. It's and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear thee and night. But right now, yo, basically robbery, um, escalate on a different level, yo, is it me? No way I go walk and a man I juke you down, is it me? Be shoot you and take your goods, yo. <laughs> well, people in fear, especially these women. <laughs> um, very, very firm stands in the corporate here, and me also here to go on, well, everywhere. You see me, um, biker boys, man, pump biker, take where people goods in, um, New Kingston, um, where they, them, them hold up, um, basically, um, what we call it, them hold up. Remember exactly what it is. I think a monogram of Western Union in um in Saint Elizabeth. It's more power armor up going everywhere, yo. People fear it. And you say and shall have none assurance of thy life. Is it me? Which um that's all people, right? And you know how they might make twins meet yo. Is it but the aim for people for do your trust in your how about shim or shy? Right? Because I, this is the only rest I'll come. The rest not upon the side yeah. <laughs> is it me? Is um Revelation chapter 3 verse 17 because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have no need of nothing and know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable. I will know people miserable as give yourself oppression make a wise man mad. Which one people don't really rise here, but when they are pressed to a certain degree, yo, is it me for instance um my brothers and my discussed right earlier, well, maybe a few weeks back or so, um that people in the cities, yo. Is them they're more on edge, is me call them oppress you. Everything have the traffic congestion, is me um everything just fast pace. Um put people on edge, yo, so they miserable. The least you could think you them them chip, them flip. Right? It's on poor, which are people in the ghettos, the slums working nine to five and still can't find ends meet. It's on blind and naked cow people full of sin. And then blind because them don't see the true way, yo. Is the much is that way is your how about shame or shy. Right, but we are there is him showing that showing you that way as the scripture say do him give you um see if we can get a look up and remember I think uh Isaiah 30 and 20 if I'm not mistaken Yeah that's it um Isaiah 30 verse 20 and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. So though I'm afflicted because we transgressed on um, Daniel 9 verse 11 tell it that that's the reason why the curse come upon people. So yet shall not thy teachers be mo removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers which are the teachers. The men out there in the highways and hedges here on the streets um, pushing forth this gospel yo. Is him teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. See a man who want to call madman is him who teach the Bible in, in, in the proper way. And where are your teachers? Yeah, I see the teachers. He said, And here shall um, hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. So it tells us to leave Babylon, you know, leave the ways of the society, leave this the mentality of this world. Is man seek rest in your how about Shem Shai, which is your true rest, the only rest that you will get. Right? Turn back to the large and statues of your how about Shem Shai. So when he turn to the right hand, and when he turn in to the left, and he shall, and he shall, um, I'm kind of stop right there. This one, that was a point, right? So the prophet somewhere here, we just going to show it in the right way. Um, next priest I want to get here is um the book of Isaiah again, chapter um, one and verse four. It says, Ah, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. Which this is the reason why the affliction even taking us over, um in the first place. Culture and disgrace against the laws, yo. Or people constantly um, um I dwell in in um in sins, iniquity, meaning adding sin to sin, right? And it says, uh, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto hunger, they are gone away backward. It's the following of the way of the devil, so called white man. So people are um, pushing Christianity, Rastafarianism, do as thou will, women being whores, men being faggots, is men adulterers, all of these are ways of what? The devil. Um, verse 5 says, so Why should he be stricken anymore? He will revolt more and more because of basically not his predicament because of what? Punishment from the Mosai. Right? Well, Mosai said, Why Why the point in, in beating you people or punishing you people? He, what? Can you continue to revolt you? You will not turn unto him. He said, The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. 
they have not been closed, right? So people be healed, yo. Is it gonna be, be healed mentally and physically? If I look on people, you are some bunch of sick and diseased people, right? So neither bone hop, neither modify with ointments. Is it but at the end of the day, yo, is it me for trusting you? How about Shimmy Shai? He will come as a scripture some of and get real quick, come with true healing, you know? and we basically have that right now. Okay, so say he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Which um also yeah, we have we have um we have um somewhat a solid mind you know, in, 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 in in this life. Cause any idea we don't really get get much um affected by afflictions like that. Yeah, we look upon it as um as the scripture still say, even when the disciples them um um get beaten faith if basically the witness of how we shy them, they rejoice. Is it when we see when we see certain things happening in this life, yo? Is it when, for instance, um, couple company shut down? We see historic measures that take place in Jamaica. Um, let's say um, the society falling. We rejoice, yo. Cause in the day when we say this bitch have to get destroyed, for we get the kingdom of heaven, which we wait for. Right? So scripture we are current to His promise. Look for new heavens and new earth, where in dwelleth righteousness. And we also look for this as well. This is um. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 But unto you that fear my name, which the name of the Moses is what Yahweh, and his son name is Yahushai, shall the son of righteousness, a right of, of righteousness, arise with healing in his wings, and he shall go forth. And we basically um getting that healing right now. We start from a spiritual standpoint. We basically um as scripture says in the book of uh, what um Ezekiel the 37 chapter and also Revelation the 11 chapter tell you about the dry bones and the um the dead bodies is in what we basically get the spirit of your how about Shemel shall basically live in I'm sorry right now is in the sun in the form of feet right basically keeping the last to the best of ability having but with name or power is in the name I'm son you know? right and that, that that's healing right he said arise with healing in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as halves of the star you know? Is when ultimately we're going to get delivered out of this wicked house place and set up in the kingdom of heaven, which all of this madness is in me, right? As scripture said, when the most high, um, let's see, we can get that real quick, I'm not sure, but um, I believe it's in the book of Psalms 124, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll be like them that dream it. Um, you can do a search sheet. Never really plan to make this lesson that long, but it is what it is. The spirit. Yep. This is um Psalms one twenty six and one. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, which are the Israelites, we were like them that dream it. So we're going to be wake out of this madness, yo, is me? And never, as scripture says, affliction will not rise up a second time. So no more will we ever have to face this madness or this oppressive life. Um, this is Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and new heart, meaning new, new rulership, when the house, we are going to rule, yo. Because the word heaven just means I'm exalted, right? Now me, Esau, and I'm heaven right now. He saw the so-called white race is ruling. And as scripture said, when the wicked are now tired to the people mourning, now all the way I mourn, yo. So for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and they were no more see. I John and I John saw the whole city New Jerusalem coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, appeared as a bride adorned for her husband, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So no more will people basically be crying. And you know, for a cry for no suffering, no loss, no loved ones, um, no stress, nothing like that. So there shall be no more death. You know, I will die literally anymore. And not even a dead state of mind because we're going to escape so we're going to be all righteous. Right? So neither sorrow. Just think about it, Joe. Think about a life of literally no sorrow. Now we're about nothing. Everything to your full comfort. The scripture says, even before we ask him, I'll give way. Let's say it is I want mansion. <laughs> is it here? Is I have to do some taste travel, anything, yo? Is it the scripture say, yo, and, and, and the father's right, and there's pleasures forevermore. And there's no limit to the most high power. 
Is it me? So even right now, me at Tilbo space travel and castle and anything there, that's nothing compared to the most I have in store. As scripture say, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard that would the most I have prepared for me like you. I said, nor sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. And that's how truly believe in you. Know? So guess what? At the end of the road, is him who will be delivered from this wicked um, society and set up in a righteous society where all of this life that we see right now is him who will be basically be like a nightmare. We're going to wake up from it and never, move, never, ever, ever will enter into it again, yo. So, me song, that was it. This is the last of the mature article in the um, description box. You can read it if you will. Um, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Apoya, Yahoo, Shemel, Shai, Bosham, Kakurash. The one is unto our elders and apostles of great millstone and shalom to the awful like.